What I have called the caterpillar pattern in the tremors chart of the Reckoness Peninsula volcanoes is a pattern that repeats every six hours. And when it starts, after a while, less than 10 days usually, we will have a sharp rise, which is an indication of an eruption. We had this in this case in the February 2024 and bang, after that, we had the eruption. The eruption which was near the Sunuka craters, the old place that we had the craters uh, erupting, near the Sorsenge, and it just finished after less than 24 hours. Surprise, surprise, when the volcano ceased to erupt anymore, we had this pattern of the, what are called caterpillar pattern, continuing. It did not stop. On that time, I believe that this was indication that the tectonic tremors are breaking the rocks, opening the way for the magma to rise. And we have evidence for that in the form of geological term, what we call as transgressive uh, seal, uh, which rises the, or stepwise, rises the magma to uh, new levels from the lower ground. In the field, we can see it as what we call in uh, the geological term with the French word botinage, means sausage-like structures. We see it in the field. This is the Sondunco craters. And we have seen it in the Grindavik eruption, Hago for Grindavik eruption. We had one main and the secondary one there. Now we have the pattern of the uh, rising in the Sorsengi has almost stopped. That means we have now a flat area in the chart it shows the entry of the magma equals the exit of the magma. What is entering to that uh, under the source and accumulating there equals to what is exiting it. And this in conjunction with what we have in the caterpillar pattern shows to me that magma is moving to nearer to surface. There is no, uh, in that case, there is no res restriction or something hampering the friction hampering and causing earthquakes. So the earthquakes will actually cease. And that is what we see. We have seen, of course, a tongue of this transgressive uh, seal rising toward the green Greenwich in this chart just yesterday. This is from yesterday. And now today we see that the uh, earthquakes almost vanished from this 3D model and from the chart which shows the time. And also on the map, you can see that we don't have much earthquakes. That means the movement of the tectonics have stopped, although uh, the magma means is moving within this without any barrier, without anything stopping it. It's just well lubricating the um, the fault lines. We see at the surface signs of the heat actually now. Uh, this is the water vapor and other gases, uh, uh, steam rising from the lava field around the Swartzengib. I believe we will have a eruption soon. I may be wrong, and I hope wrong for the people of those areas, but there is a possibility this this time it will be closer to the Grindavik, uh, this eruption. And uh, there is also a smaller chance that we've been there, uh, near the location that it was, or the north of the February 2024 eruption, near the Swartzengi. But this likeliness is just, uh, you know, based on the evidence that I presented you, and the pattern of, of what are called caterpillar pattern of the earthquakes. They have ceased now. Eruption maybe is near.